Hi there, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, right now I am outside in nature doing some earthing. I am sitting on the grass in the beautiful sun and it just feels glorious. <laughs> and I'm here to do a spirit animal oracle card reading for you for the week of January 27th. I'm going to be using the same Spirit Animal Oracle card deck that I normally use, the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed But first, I just want to take a moment to thank you so much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. I can feel the love and I am so appreciative of you. I also want to thank you for your donations as it keeps the Weather Shaman YouTube channel going. If you would like to donate, you may do so by clicking the PayPal link below in the description box. And with that said, let's get started. Okay. Dear angels, archangels, and ascended masters of the highest Christed light, please help give me and the viewers of this video spirit animal guidance and inspiration for the week of january 27th all right so it looks like that we have four cards that came out and i also had a card come out earlier when i was pre-shuffling the deck before this video so first i want to share with you the card that fell out before i hit record on this video and that is the bobcat spirit which says life is a mystery so basically it's okay if you don't have the, all the answers right now in your life it's okay if there are still unknowns or you feel as if you don't really know how a situation is going to work out but you know intuitively that it will. Just know that all things work out for the highest and greatest good. We may not know all the answers right now, but that is okay because the answers will come when they need to arrive. They will come in perfect divine timing. We are given guidance in accordance with divine timing as well as whatever is for our highest and greatest good. So trust and allow life to unfold naturally and allow it to be a process and know that you are loved you are safe and you have guidance all you need to do is pray or meditate pray to the divine pray to your angels uh, pray to god the universe whatever it is you believe in ask for guidance or assistance uh, so that you can have better intuitive guidance on how to proceed and just know everything is working out in your favor so trust and the next one we have is white raven spirit it says trust in the magic all right i'm hearing that song in my head do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart where the music can free her something 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 you get the gist believe in magic know that magic and miracles are always possible all you need to do is believe that magic and miracles are possible and then if you're open-minded to that idea you will begin to see more miracles and magic working in your everyday life okay do everything you can to raise your vibrational frequency all right try to have an attitude of gratitude in all that you do focus on the many resources that you already have in your life as opposed to what you don't have because what we focus on grows. So the more we focus on abundance and the things that we already are blessed with in our reality, the more appreciation that we show the universe, the more those blessings are gonna come in threefold, okay? And just know that the white raven is a bird, so flying overhead in the sky, having a more objective, overarching viewpoint on your situation. Look at it, look at it from a higher perspective and more objectively what is the current situation in your life trying to teach you what is the main lesson or blessing the blessing in disguise right now whether it's something good happening in your life or an obstacle that you may be facing just know that there is usually a lesson in it and there is always something magical in each lesson okay the next one we have is chameleon spirit act as if okay blend in act as if it's already here that's the best way to speed up manifestation in order to manifest our desires we need to act as if it's already here okay kind of play the part or act as if so like if you 
I don't know, want to be a pilot someday, you know, spend more time around airports or planes and kind of pretend that you are already a pilot by surrounding yourself with the type of atmosphere that pilots would be around. Or like me, if you love crystals and you love energy healing and stuff like that, surrounding myself with more like-minded people that are also into crystals and energy healing and spending time in crystal shops and outside in nature with nature's natural crystal rocks, uh, things like that, okay? Act as if it's already here. Really pretend and feel. What would it feel like if your desires were met and you already had them today? Okay, because we can trick our mind into thinking it's already here, even if it's not. Okay, so anything is possible to manifest. You just have to believe that you are deserving of it and that it is possible and it can come in in any way, shape, or form when least expected. All right, we have the grasshopper spirit, which says take a leap of faith. Okay, so faith without works is dead, meaning that if we just, you know, sit around all day and meditate and just hope that things will change in our reality, but we don't actually do the footwork, then we're not really likely to see any change or positive miracles. We really need to uh, step out of our comfort zone and take action closer towards our dreams, our goals, and desires. And these can be baby steps. It can be little things. Okay, so visualization is key to manifesting. Of course, that is the first step. Meditation, visualization, having a peaceful, calm state of mind, trusting the divine is leading you and guiding you. But in addition to that, taking a step out of the comfort zone, out of your home, out of your room, and surrounding yourself with more like-minded people, and surrounding yourself with things that are good for you and that are in alignment with your dreams, goals, and desires. Okay, so take a leap of faith. Do something that's out of your comfort zone this week. Try something new, something that would help you take a step closer towards your goals. Like for me, I'm trying to make exercise a more regular thing. And so my goal is to get outside in nature more frequently to exercise outdoors. I love exercising outside because it doesn't really feel like exercise. It feels more like fun and it allows my inner child to kind of play in the woods as opposed to going to a gym. I've always kind of struggled going to work out at a gym because it feels more like work and stress to me. So that is why I choose to do my exercise outside in nature. It feels more open, freeing, and abundant for me. But whatever works for you. Okay, the next one we have is the groundhog spirit. It says time to let go. Okay, time to let go of what is no longer serving you. Any people, places, or things in your life that may be outdated or holding you back. Be sure that you really go within this week and reflect on what people in your life are serving you and helping you move towards your life purpose versus what are the people or who are the people in your life that may not be a good influence on you, that may be leading you astray or pulling you down with them. Then once you have that discernment, you know, maybe uh, take a few steps away from those that are holding you back and take a few steps closer to those who uplift, inspire you and push you forward towards your dreams, your goals and your aspirations. For that is an example of self-love when we are really careful and conscientious of who we allow into our sacred energetic space because we are who we surround ourselves with eventually in time. If we surround ourselves with people for a long time or many times in a row, we can pick up on them energetically. So be sure you're surrounding yourself with positive people, places, and things. Be aware of the places that you are going to. Do they also lift you up? Do they inspire you and make you determined to work harder? Or are they places that bring you down and make you feel bad or that bad feeling in the pit of your stomach? Really be aware of what your intuition is telling you. Okay? And be sure that you are consuming things that are good for you, for health is wealth. So be sure that you're being consci conscientious of the food you're eating, the, the drinks that you're consuming. Is that alkaline water or is that tap water with fluoride? Try to have more uh, good quality water if you are able to. That really makes a difference. And also be conscientious of what you're feeding your ears and your soul via what are you watching on TV? Are you watching conscious, spiritually uplifting YouTube videos or are you watching cable television? If you are watching cable television, what are some more positive uplifting shows you could watch as opposed to 
the news or lower vibrational programming, okay, because we are what we consume. Also listen to more positive, uplifting mood music that boosts your mood as opposed to putting you into a lower vibrational state, okay? So let's go ahead and see what deeper messages these cards have for us in Colette Baron reeds book, starting with the Bobcat Spirit. Okay, life is a mystery. Isn't that the truth? And one thing that's good about this card, notice the number eight on top. Eight also, when turned sideways, is the infinity symbol, which represents the infinite eternal life of our souls. Our souls are eternal and live on forever. For this body is just a temporary vessel. We are multidimensional spiritual beings having a physical experience. So always remember that, okay, anything is possible. We have a vast amount of possibilities and our consciousness is ever expanding. And just know that this also is a sign to connect more strongly with the divine at this time. Pray or meditate to the divine, ask for assistance when needed, and feel and accept the comfort that is trying to come through, okay? So Bobcat Spirit reminds us that life truly is a mystery. The bobcat moves furtively and mysteriously, and when bobcat spirit appears to you, she brings a powerful reminder that not all things in life can be explained or understood through the power of the intellect. Trying to figure things out, find logical explanations, or predict what will happen based on reason and facts will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek. Bobcat asks, that you trust in the great mystery and let the secrets of the universe reveal themselves to you through direct experience. Allow your vision to slip into soft focus and you will see between the lines and observe what has been hidden there all along. Bobcat Spirit helps you know intimately the pulse of the divine in the world. Trust in the wisdom and revelations that come to you, yet know that understanding may not come as you would like it to. What you experience through your heart and intuition, which comes to you as the voice of your inner knowing, will guide you now as you accept that secrecy is woven into the fabric of existence. No matter what, the appearance of Bobcat Spirit is a sign that you are being called to trust, even when what is revealed does not agree with your need for intellectual certainty. Okay, so trust in the process. Trust that everything is working out for your highest and greatest good, even though it may not appear that way at this time. For everything may not make logical sense all the time, but if it feels right in your heart and it matches what your intuition is telling you, trust your gut, trust your intuition, trust your heart, for your intuition knows best in all situations. Once again, even if it doesn't seem like things may be working out in your reality, do not let logic overpower your intuition and what you know to be true in your heart. All things are possible. Miracles and magic happen all of the time. We just have to stay open and receptive to them. Okay, the next one I'm going to look up is the Grasshopper Spirit. Grasshopper Spirit guides us or encourages us to take a leap of faith. Right now, you are poised to jump into the next level of your life and move forward into something even better than could have ever been imagined. When Grasshopper Spirit appears, it is a fortuitous time to take a leap into the unknown. For Grasshopper Spirit represents the innovative spirit that says, Why not? and has faith in the powers of co-creation. You are being called to trust that this is the right time to go with that idea, relationship, or situation. Take risks, for abundance in all forms will show up for you. Wondrous things await when Grasshopper Spirit appears. You are not going to go backwards, so listen to your intuition rather than your fearful ego that resists any change and clings worriedly to what was. Luck is on your side. Jump and forward, jump up and forward with confidence. For spirit has so much in store for you if you only take that leap. Okay, so we must start somewhere. So take that first baby step or take that first leap of faith into the unknown, and then the universe will conspire in your favor and give you all the support, resources, and reinforcement that you need to continue to move forward in that direction. 
It all starts with the first step, okay? So trust your heart. Listen to your heart. What is it trying to tell you? What is it that you feel like you need to try? Or what is it that you feel like you need to initiate? And go forth in perfect love, trust, and harmony. Trust the process because blessings will start coming in one by one after that. And it's going to be awesome. That's such a happy, positive, optimistic energy. I love that one. Okay, White Raven Spirit. Here we go. So the White Raven Spirit tells us to trust in the magic, okay? It says, nothing in the universe is random, for the intricate web of co-creation weaves together all events and has done so, and has done so since the beginning of time. Coincidences have meaning, and White Raven Spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to these synchronicities so that you might recognize patterns. Even the winds dance in a pattern, participating in the magic of Spirit's plan for all. Align with the highest good and intentions, and you will come to see that White Raven is guiding you, an ally to you, and a messenger from Spirit. Align with the light and you will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways the eye can't always see and the mind can't always comprehend. The universe is conspiring on your behalf now, drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that are your birthright. Now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic, and you will see the hand of Great Spirit arranging things in your favor. This is a beautiful, optimistic, miraculous energy I'm feeling. Okay, pay close attention to any patterns or trends or synchronicities that you may see this week. Numbers such as 111, 444, 777. Okay, those numbers contain messages on a deeper level. And, you know, you can Google them and say, okay, 777 angel number meaning in Google, and it will give you a lot of cool interpretations. I personally like to look at, uh, I think it's Joanne Scribes angel number interpretations, I believe. She has wonderful interpretations. I just put it in Google and she pops up as the first or second search. So pay attention to numbers and really be aware of your surroundings when you see these numbers for that will match up to the meaning more close to you. So 888 is also a wonderful, powerful number. 888 or 88 is a power uh, number of abundance, okay? Because it's the infinity loop when sideways. So just know that there are going to be many signs this week. Maybe not just in numbers. Maybe you'll start to see angels appear in different places, angel figurines everywhere you go, or any symbols that are important or meaningful to you. Just be on the lookout for them and see what they're trying to tell you. What is the divine trying to relay to you? What messages, okay? And once again, this is a bird. So have a bigger, broader perspective. Pretend that you're flying overhead and watching yourself from above. What is the greater purpose of your life right now? What is going on? What are the main themes? As I say this, there is a bird flying right overhead. <laughs> That is a synchronicity, okay? <laughs> so look at the big overall picture and just know you are never alone. The divine always has your back. If you allow the divine to assist you, pray or meditate for guidance, comfort as to how to proceed and it shall be granted to you, okay? And just be open to magic and miracles. Even though it may not seem like good things are happening in your reality right now, just pretend as if it's already here and watch uplifting videos on YouTube or go outside in nature and look at the beautiful abundant resources available to you for free. For nature is healing and reminds us that anything is possible. Nature always provides for all living things. And there are no rules in nature. There are no societal rules. You can pretty much do whatever and feel free out here. And I feel like the more time I spend out in nature, the more open and receptive to miracles I become because 
being outside in nature just allows me to reset and de-stress from the world. Getting back in touch with our natural ancestral roots can be the most empowering, best thing we can do for our health, for our mind, body, and soul. So get outside in nature and start seeing and experiencing and being the miracles you wish to see. Okay, uh, the last two that we have, Chameleon Spirit. Let's see what Chameleon Spirit says. Chameleons are so cool. I love how they change colors. Okay, act as if. Chameleon Spirit shares her gift with you today to prepare you for changes that will greatly benefit you. Outer conditions are changing and you're required to come into harmony with them so that you can co-create your greatest dream. Feeling sensitive? Good, because that will come in handy, enabling you to determine how best to adapt to your environment and the people in it, while at the same time maintaining your integrity and inner equilibrium. Even if you feel like you're in uncharted territory, Chameleon Spirit has complete faith in your ability to fit in and learn the lay of the land, adapting as necessary. This is a fortunate time to act as if and do as others do until the new ways feel familiar and completely natural. Life is offering you a great lesson now. Adapting isn't about losing yourself. It's about learning how to dance with others. Okay, so sometimes our environments can be shaken up unexpectedly. Unexpected changes can come in, unexpected people, and it can kind of stir up our comfort zone. So just really being flexible and being available to go with the flow, okay? We are all very adaptable people. Just naturally and innately, we have the ability to adapt to anything over time if we allow it to happen. Okay, so just be open and receptive to any changes going on around you and do whatever you have to do to maintain peace within you, no matter what is going on in your external circumstances or in your outer environment. For if we keep working on maintaining peace within in our channel, then that's going to allow peace to happen in our outer reality as well. Okay, via law of attraction, we are what we attract and we attract what we are. So do everything you can to maintain peace with yourself this week, for that will allow more peace to come into your life from the outer, the, the outer world. Okay, the last card that we have is Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. And one thing that I noticed on here that I didn't notice the first time, notice how there's a little heart that the groundhog has right here. Okay, this really embodies self-love in my opinion. What can you do to practice more self-love this week? What can you do just for you, yourself, and I? Maybe take yourself on a date. Take yourself out to a special restaurant to enjoy a meal just alone in solitude. Or maybe make yourself a special meal this week. Take a bubble bath. You know, go outside in nature and bathe in the sun. What's something you can do for yourself to just reset and feel good? and feel connected to your inner being on a soul level, okay? And reminding us it's time to let go of some things in our lives that may no longer be serving us. Let's see what Groundhog Spirit has to say, what Colette Baron reed says about this. Okay. Time to let go. Endings lead to beginnings and death is a part of life. So Groundhog Spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you. We love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs space to arrive so growth can occur. When Groundhog Spirit appears, it is a sign that there is something in your present situation that you need to let go of so that something new can be born. Something that will far better serve you now. When the groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So too might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good, so let go of your resistance. Spring brings many blessings, and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. Say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it your way. Okay, what I'm hearing is out with the old, in with the new. Okay, 
out with the old and with the new. This is perfectly in alignment with the new moon we just had this past Friday. For new moons usually signify new beginnings and releasing what is no longer serving us. So once again, this can take place in the form of people that maybe just don't really lift you up when you're around them and they make you feel maybe not so good about yourself. If you have any people like that in your life still, you know, learn to love them from afar and it's okay to create distance between you and those people because you're loving yourself and protecting yourself that way so that you can be of better service to those that you truly care about and who truly care about you. Okay, be sure you're surrounding yourself with people who truly love you and want to see you succeed and who care about you unconditionally for you deserve that. You deserve to feel unconditional love from those you surround yourself with, but it does all start with within. It, it does all start from within. So be sure you're doing everything you can to nurture yourself from time to time as well, okay? And just know that it's okay to say goodbye to what is no longer serving you. Even though it might be emotional and a little bit painful, just know that it will allow more room for new and better and more beautiful things to come into your reality, okay? For in order to bring forth more blessings and beautiful new things into our life, we have to get rid of some of the old, outdated things, okay? So we have a lot of beautiful energy this week. I love it. I'm going to just go ahead and show you the cards one more time. We have the Bobcat Spirit that says life is a mystery. We have the Grasshopper Spirit, which reminds us to take a leap of faith. We have the Chameleon Spirit that says act as if. The White Raven Spirit that tells us to trust in the magic. Do you believe in magic? in a young girl's heart where the music can free her. Put on that song, Do You Believe in Magic, if you want to feel a little magic in your life. And Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. So we have a lot of beautiful energies this week. It's going to be a time of transformation and change, but also a time of unexpected blessings and beauty and love. It is going to be a time of introspection too, though. So really going within and really listening to our souls and what they're calling us to do on a deeper level for fulfillment. So I'm sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. Go forth in perfect love, harmony, and abundance and experience the magic this week. Namaste.